A few weeks ago, I did a video, and it was the first in the series where I go over books from my personal collection. Well, stay tuned for part two in that series. Hey YouTube, it's Matt here. Now, I'm still going over some of these books from my personal collection, and I, like I said before, this is going to be a series of videos, and I want to shout out Pretty Fly for a Filipino guy for giving me the great idea of actually doing this series of videos. So, hats off to you, my man, and I love it whenever subscribers have great ideas for videos. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or put a comment down below and give me ideas on videos. All right, now the first book that we're gonna go over isn't even my book. This is the Cameraman Spencer's book. This is a Dr. Afra number one, and this came out in February of 2017. The second book, the only purple label in my collection. This was part of Asian Funk, who has another great YouTube channel. This was part of his 1,000 subscriber giveaway. And him and I have both went back and forth. We cannot find any color restoration on this, but CGC is saying that there is. And again, I'm not going to argue and say that it's not true, but I just don't see it. The third book is New Mutants. <laughs> New Mutants. New Avengers number seven. This is the first appearance of the Illuminati in comic books. This is also not a part of my personal collection. This is Cameraman Spencer. This is Darth Vader number three, which is the first appearance of Dr. Affer. We showed you Dr. Affer before, but that wasn't her first appearance. It was in Darth Vader number three from, from 2015. And the cameraman, he's also the producer, and he set up these books. He wants to talk about New Mutants 98, which is the first appearance of Deadpool. Now, in this series, okay, there's a lot of 9.8s so far um, that are going to be here. And for the most part, 9.8s are in good shape, and we're going to go over them. They're not perfect, but that's all right. I love this book. Uh, Dr. Aphra is really interesting character and there's a lot of speculation a lot of hope that she's going to be introduced into the star wars universe maybe on a disney plus show but hopefully in a live action somehow whether it's a movie or a show this is a book that the cameraman had found at an lcs shop in the wild now this book presents very well there are some issues with it though uh, you'll see definitely on the spine there's going to be some damage and it's coming up right here if you look at the very top. Now Spencer asked me to press this for him and I had no problem doing that but you'll see on the bottom there's a lot of little spine stress or not spine but stress cracks on it. There's a tiny amount of ink break if you will color break. And somehow this book still came back at a 9.8. This is one of those examples of books that I talk about, and I talk about it a lot, that not all 9.8s are just absolutely perfect books. There are acceptable defects by CGC guidelines. And this one right here, that's an example of manufactured defect. And this might be the only book that will answer the question, what book was Darth Vader and Juggernaut both in? Now, this book, and for the very first time, I might be seeing some color touch on Hulk's bicep. I have to examine this a little bit better, and we will take pictures. Maybe we can see them whenever we do our pictures. This book here, I love it. This was a giveaway by Asian Funk. And I'm trying to go over it now. I'm looking all through this, looking for color touch. I don't really see any. Now we will see on 
Hulk's bicep right there, there does seem to be a, a line there. I don't know if that was done by a marker or what. I have to look at another copy to see if that same line is in that book. If that isn't it, I cannot find the Keller touch-up anywhere on here. So this one's a tough one for me. But this is a book, man, oh man, this is a, uh, you'll see this cover, the back cover is very dirty. It could clearly use a press. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever send this book off, you know, crack it, uh, press it, clean it, send it back off. I don't know if I'll ever do that because, I mean, it's already a 3-0. Like, this book is not going to ever come back in 9-8. But I don't know, this is one of those classic books. Some people call it the third appearance of Wolverine. I don't know if I would call it that. But you can see right there, very dirty. It could definitely benefit from a cleaning, clearly benefit from a pressing. But even then, I think 5.0, maybe 6.0 might be the top end for this book. But this is definitely a historic book and I love how it came into my collection. And I think that's a cool story right there. Asian Funks, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Now, this is a cool book right here because this is the first appearance of the Illuminati. And again, there's a lot of spec that the Illuminati is going to make an appearance in the MCU that they're setting it up with some of the Doctor Strange and the multiverse uh, storyline. I don't know if they're going to go that route or not, but some people feel that they may. So this is the first appearance of the Illuminati. And this is a variant copy to that uh, New Avengers number seven. This New Avengers series was so well written. Uh, it, entered, it combined a lot of characters that you're not used to seeing. It put Spider-Man in the Avengers. Also, Wolverine was in the Avengers too. This book's a 9-8. For most intensive purposes, this is a very well, you know, kept book. Uh, this is an older case, but it still looks fabulous. Uh, this book is going to stay in the collection forever. Uh, it, it might be the first, it is definitely the first appearance of the Illuminati, but they might be coming into the MCU. A lot of people are saying that. I don't know if it's ever going to happen, but I think there's a, definitely a possibility. It's just kind of like that little Marvel organization that runs things in the background. Now, we talked about Dr. Afra, A lot of spec going on about Dr. Afra making an appearance. And I do think it's just a matter of time before we see her in a live action, which is pretty cool because she's an archaeologist in space that is going after uh, robot parts and high-tech uh, circuitry so that she can create even better robots. But interesting character. Uh, she really just goes for the biggest dollar. She ends up working for Darth Vader and she tries to get out of his, you know, grasp, if you will. So really cool storyline with her. This Dr. Aphra character is definitely interesting. And this Darth Vader number three being her first appearance, this book is starting to go up in value. And honestly, it's like weekly whenever I look at the values or the prices that are being paid on eBay, they keep going up. Don't know where this is gonna go. I don't know if they are gonna do a live action, but they definitely are talking about it. And this book is very well kept. There's actually two of these books in my comic book room. One for me and one for the cameraman. This book is a 9-8 and it's it's honestly staying in there. Uh, the cameraman, this might be his favorite character other than Darth Vader himself. Now this one doesn't need any more introduction. This is the first appearance of Deadpool. And what a great character. Speaking of anti-hero... Isn't it kind of ironic that Punisher is on the back cover of New Mutants number 98? Because these are two of the biggest anti-heroes out there. You know, the vigilante cast, if you will. The cameraman, who is also the producer of this channel, he's the one who set up these books. And I know that he is a Deadpool fan, which is why I think that he chose this book to put in this video. This is a 9-8. This is a prize part of the collection. This is a book that has gone up in value a lot. 
Uh, the prices that are on eBay right now are just, they, they blow my mind because I only got this book a year ago and no, I did not pay anywhere near what this book is going for now. Uh, if I was a financial investor, buying this book would have been the greatest uh, financial decision of my life. But hey, the comic market is crazy town right now. I don't know if this is going to last. Hey guys, this was part two of my series on books for my personal collection. If you like this series, please hit that thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and put a comment down there and let's kick it up. All right, guys. I want to thank you for watching and everybody have a great day. Let's kick it up. What the hell does that even mean?